Let's walk through this lesson on pulling your DC wires all the way up from the inverter all the way up to your array junction box. This is going to be really cool and important. So let's begin. We've designed for you a nice wire caddy and we're going to use the wires on this caddy to pull them all the way up. We've got black, red, uh, white for electrical neutral and green for ground. So this is what we're going to make use of. First thing that we want to do is use some tape and mark on the reels the identity of the reels. We have two strings in this system, string one and string two. So what we're going to do is begin by putting a piece of red tape on a uh, red spool here and that indicates that this wire is for string one and it's the positive. Then we come over here and we're instructed to put on two pieces of tape. So you click and you put on two and what you can see is that we've put on two pieces of tape. Now this is the positive wire for string number two and that's how we're going to remember which wire is going where. Do the same thing over here. We're going to put on a single piece of tape so I just touch it there, put on my tape on that spool so I identify it as negative for string one and then same over here. I'm going to come over here and touch twice, put on my cool tape and indicate that I've got two tapes so this is negative wire for string number two. Now we're going to go out and pull out some wire. This is where we're going to put on the tape. I'm going to touch it and put on my piece of tape and I've identified from my uh, spool number one. This is the, the wire and this identification is going to be pulled all the way up to the top and we're going to be able to know that this is positive wire for string number one. Same thing out here. I come out here and I touch it twice with my cool tape and I put on two pieces of tape so I'm identifying that as my positive string uh, for string number two. Same thing here. Come over here, touch it, put on a single piece of tape for that one and uh, angle it here, touch it twice, put on my tape. So now what I've done is I've identified my spools and the wires that I'm going to be pulling up through the conduit to the roof. I go up to the roof and we've got a fish tape for you. So the idea is that you want to push the fish tape all the way from where you want the wires to come out to all the way down where you want them to go. So I'm going to touch on it, put it down inside, and have it go all the way down to where I want it to go. And now what I've done is you can see it comes all the way out. Down here uh, at this conduit body by the inverter, my fish tape has come all the way out and I've got my connection point here where I'm going to connect my wires. And what you do is you're going to actually touch on the wires and connect them up to your fish tape. So I touch on each wire. It doesn't matter the order that you do it in. And the point is that I'm going to bring all these wires up and I would use a, a bunch of uh, electrical tape here and I would fasten my wires to the end of my fish tape to be able to pull the wires back using the fish tape all the way through the conduit. I come back up here and I'm prompted to pull my wire up like this and you pull the fish tape all the way up. You'd pulling those wires through the conduit. Now actually since we have a number of conduit bodies and 90 degree bends in our conduit, what you'd actually do in the real world is you'd pull them out of each body and then push them back in. Pull them out of the next body and pull them back in. Talk about that in a solar snack where we describe things in detail for you. But now we've pulled our wires up. Now what you want to do is disconnect them from here. So I'm going to touch that. And what I've done is effectively disconnected my fish tape at this point. I'm going to use that again to make a pull from this location all the way over to the array. And that's what I'm going to do here. I take my fish tape all the way over to my array junction box and this is where I'm going to put it in, push it inside, and now I push that all the way over to my roof penetration conduit body. And I'll click next. I got it there. What I'm going to want to do is reattach my wires. So in any order you can touch your wires and we're going to reattach them to that fish tape at that location where we pulled them up through. Now I get to pull my fish tape and I get to pull the wires all the way through the conduit and bring them out into the array junction box. And then I'm going to disconnect my fish tape from that and I've pulled my wires into my array junction box. Now what we want to do is identify the wires that we've pulled. Remember the tape that we put on has already been pulled all the way up to the top. We've got to identify which wires these are from the spools uh, down below. So I'm going to touch my tape right there, boop, put on my piece of tape, touch it again, put on my second piece of tape, 
so that I start identifying my wires as string one and string two down at the ground. Same thing here, I'll put a single bit of tape on there, and now I've identified string one and string two positive. Same thing here, come around and I'll touch my tape up, got to get it just right. Touch my tape on there, touch my tape on there, so now I've got my string two negative, and finally come around here and touch my tape on. So now I've, I've identified my string one and string two down uh, at the bottom where I'm going to cut my wires off. And so now I bring out my wire cutter and I proceed to uh, cut on the targets, place it there and tap, cut my wires off in any order that you want to do. And now you've cut off the wires as they came out of your conduit body. So you've pulled your wires all the way up. Now we can route the wires up inside. You've pulled the wires all the way up. You've disconnected from the spool. And now you can touch each wire, route them up, in through the box, in any order that you want. And what you do is you'd route all these wires and pull them up inside your inverter, and you'd be done with pulling your wires from the ground up to the array. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.